Hello humans, Artist with a Fro here, and welcome back to the show. We got some really good, interesting news at the start of this year, and it's only been, what, two days? We're three days into 2022, and we already have some really good stuff to talk about. So, if you haven't been keeping up to date with everything, recently, in the latest set that is coming out, I believe it's called Dimension Force. It seems like that set has a lot of cards in it that a lot of people are going to want. But if you've been following this channel in particular, you know that we have our Sealed Only Ancient Warrior series, which will probably show up somewhere in the top corner of the screen right there. But we also have some new cards to talk about now, which are pretty interesting. That's right, we got some new Ancient Warriors. So I'm just gonna, you know, jump right into it. Let's get into them, let's see how good they are, and then we're actually going to go over some combo potential that some of the cards, or rather really one of the cards have. Um, so starting off first, we have our Ancient Warriors Tyrannical Dong Ying. This is uh, based off of Dong Zhou, or Dong Zhuo, in the Romance of the Three Kingdoms. He was the warlord that the pretty much uh, Yuan Shao uh, gathered his troops and uh, gathered basically generals which would end up leading or end up becoming the three kingdoms themselves against him in order to kind of like overthrow him uh, because he was really bad he's a really tyrannical person and really wasn't doing <laughs> doing China any favors so he's a level 6 dark beast warrior effect monster with 2200 attack and 1800 defense his effect reads while you control a level 7 or higher ancient warriors monster your opponent must pay 400 life points to activate cards or effects you can only use each of the following effects of ancient warriors tyrannical dong ying once per turn if this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can add one level 7 or higher Ancient Warriors monster or one Ancient Warriors continuous spell or trap from your deck to your hand. If a monster is sent to your opponent's graveyard, you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard, banish it, and if you do, draw one card. So right off the bat, there's a few things that are really good about him, and then there's some stuff that's kind of okay, right? If we look at his original effect, this part here where it says if you control a level 7 or higher, uh, your opponent must activate 400, or rather, your opponent must pay 400 life points to activate cards or effects. Now, this kind of ties in with all the other Ancient Warrior monsters' effects where you need to usually have more than one of them to kind of like activate or respond or even have some sort of like continuous effect that always activates. So, the fact that he needs another Ancient Warrior is kind of a steep requirement, especially with it being a level 7. Of course you can go into Lu Feng or Lu Bu, um, which will pretty much give him that extra monster, but aside from that, there really aren't any other really good high level Ancient Warrior monsters that you would really want to go into. You can't really get him off with Guan Yun, and using Zhang Da, it really kind of limits you to the one that he is worth using. Also, if we're thinking about the 400 life points effect, it's kind of like chain energy, but not as good. Uh, basically, 400 is less than even what you would get if you had Masquerade on the field. So, it's it's a condition, you need to have another monster, and the fact that he doesn't do it on his own is kind of not so good. Where his effect really does shine is this part here. If this card is normal summoned or special summoned, you can add one level 7 or higher Ancient Warriors monster, or one Ancient Warriors continuous spell or trap from your deck to your hand. Now, Ancient Warriors have always needed a card to search for their spell cards. They have enough searchers for the monsters, and there is technically a, a spell searcher, but not on its own. Basically, this card helps you out by just really letting you get the card that you need. Um, the other level 7 that you would most likely go for, of course, is going to be uh, Lu Feng, just so that way you can special summon him, and then basically use his effect with Dong Ying. But the fact that this card lets you search for any spell or trap card really opens it up to a lot more playability, because the Ancient Warrior spells are really good, and it's oftentimes that you're kind of waiting to get the one or two particular spells that you need to actually OTK or really just take out your opponent. His last effect reads, if a monster is sent to your opponent's graveyard, you can target one card in your opponent's graveyard, banish it, and if you do draw one card, it's a really good draw searcher type of thing. Um, but again, as there's really not that many Ancient Warrior cards that you can special summon off of that draw, except for one, it's not as useful as it seems. Uh, plus, again, it's very conditional. I think that the thing that would make this card a lot better is if this part said if any card is sent, basically allowing you to banish any card. Because the targeting, the targeting to banish is for any card. So it can be a spell, trap, 
or monster. So it's kind of interesting that his effect only activates if monsters are sent to your opponent's graveyard. More or less though, it is a really good uh, going first turn if you want to play kind of like a slower Ancient Warriors playstyle. Uh, going second, I don't really think it has much playability because there, you're never going to be able to use the 400 life points, or at least you're not going to be able to get as much off of it as possible if you are going second, um, eventually trying to overthrow or take over your opponent. Um, the 400 life points at that point isn't really going to matter, plus there are better Ancient Warrior high level monsters that you can go for that'll get you a little bit of a better uh, bonus. But all in all, the best effect I believe that he obviously has is searching. Searching for either the Ancient Warrior or the Spell and Trap uh, really makes it helpful, especially when we get into the next card, which is our Spell and Trap card right over here. So. We have Ancient Warriors, Deception, and Betrayal. This card reads, during your main phase, you can special summon one Ancient Warrior monster from your hand. And if you do, you take damage equal to its level times 100. You can send this face-up card from your Spell and Trap card zone to the graveyard. Then target one Ancient Warrior's monster on the field and change it to any attribute. Then, if you targeted a monster your opponent controls at activation, you can take control of it. You can only use each effect of Ancient Warrior Saga, Deception, and Betrayal once per turn. This is the card that we have been waiting for for forever. There has been a, a necessity to use Tenki and Tensu in Ancient Warriors, and one of the cards that they always needed was a card to let you special summon, or rather get out more Ancient Warriors. Um, so far, there's only one Ancient Warrior that special summons himself when he's added to your hand. There are two or rather three Ancient Warriors that special summon themselves from their hand based on certain conditions, but this card allows you to special summon pretty much any Ancient Warrior as long as you're willing to pay 800 life points at most to basically get out the Ancient Warrior that you need. This is a really, really good card for two reasons. The first reason obviously is that special summon effect, like this helps you so much because now you don't have to use your normal summon on Sun Mo and then wait to search for another monster. This also helps you out with some other Ancient Warriors because it is a continuous spell card. You can actually send it to the grave for other means and you can actually get it on your field based on other Ancient Warrior cards that already exist. The second effect, however, is really where this effect kind of gets insane. <laughs> so the fact that you can change one attribute of one of your ancient warriors, it actually opens up the possibility for you to go into some crazy combos. So we're going to get into that part right now, um, but all in all, I think that this is probably the much better card that most people are going to want to go for. I hope that it doesn't get anything over like a rare printing. Actually, rares don't exist, so I hope it doesn't get anything over a super printing in Dimension Force, because if this is an ultra rare, I I'll understand it, but I'll also be like, damn, really? Like, you, <laughs> like yo, you guys just made this card really hard to get, and it's a really, really good card that you're probably going to run at least two of. Okay, so we're in EDO Pro, and we have a few cards here. Uh, of course, we're going to put in the new Ancient Warrior card. I'm not actually going to use the monster because, again, I don't really think that he's that good, nor does he go into some of the craziness that this spell card allows you to do. So again, if we look at the spell card, the real important part about it is the fact that it lets you special summon, and it also allows you to change the attribute of one of your Ancient Warrior monsters. Now, the two main attributes that you're going to be using here are either water or wind. So this actually opens you up to a lot of possibilities. As you see down here, we have a multitude of cards that you can go into based off of this new effect. But we also have the cards that you're probably already playing in your Ancient Warrior extra deck, right? Of course, you have your double Dragon Lords to search. You have your Ferrigit to get the extra summon. And then, of course, you have your Tiger King to either go for the Ten Key or the Tensu that you didn't get the first turn you drew. But... Now that you're able to actually change the attributes, you can actually open up your extra deck to summon some more monsters which go into even crazier combos. I put them in order just to kind of like show you what are the cards that you're probably going to want to go for and what are the cards that eh, you can probably pass on going for, right? Starting off first, you can go into cards like Snowdust Giant and Lightning Chidori, as well as Hope Woven Spider Shark. But these three cards are very conditional, and it's not like you're really going to want to use any of their effects in comparison to the other cards that you can actually go for. Starting off first, we have Bahamut Shark. Now, before you were still able to go into this card, but not based off of the main combo that you would do. So normally you would summon out Sunmo, activate something in order to get Jugu Kong to your hand, and then special summon him. 
when he'd be special summoned, that would basically allow you to go for any of the cards down here. But now that this card can change your Zhuge Kong into a water type, you can actually go into Bahamut and then of course use Bahamut's effect to go into Totally Awesome. You can also set up the Stealth Kragen uh, lock if you really, really want to. Um, let's say you're kind of facing off against a, a more slow deck and you kind of just want to control the, the field. Changing all of the cards on the field to water will still allow you to go back into Bahamut Shark if you ever want to, but it also lets you go into just some more crazy combos. And then we have the Charmer Engine, where basically all you need is one monster of the specific attribute. You were already able to go into the Wind, Fire, and Water type, but now you can actually go into Dark, Light, and Earth to really just take monsters from your opponent's graveyard that they may or may not need. So. The capabilities now with this spell card are endless, and the fact that you're able to kind of pull off a crazy field basically allows you to do some really cool combos. All right, so I'll give you humans an extra treat. This is pretty much what a deck would possibly look like if you're running the Ancient Warrior new support. Now, of course, you're probably gonna run, or rather want to run two of the new spell card, basically because it is your Tensu, and you're also gonna wanna run the Zhogong, just because he'll be able to get out some of the other Ancient Warrior cards that you're going to need. With the deck being at 40 cards, you actually keep up the consistency of it, and you're able to go into fields that end up with pretty much a Samorg lock, or a Bahamut shark with a totally awesome, and the Ancient Warriors link monster. So all in all, the spell card really helps out with the deck. I'll be doing some more videos and streams where we show up the capabilities of these cards, and kind of go into some of the craziness that they can actually do. So make sure that you check in on my streams, make sure that you follow us on all forms of social media, check the description in the link below to get all of that information. Again. This is some really good stuff for 2022. I really cannot wait for Dimension Force to come out. And it looks like Sealed Only is going to keep on going. But with that being said, I've been the Artist with a Fro. Let me know what you think about this new Ancient Warrior support. Or if there's any other cards that you're really looking forward to in Dimension Force. That being said again, Artist with a Fro. That, my friends, is the show. Thank you all for watching. Take care.